For everyone who loves fine wine and good food, this was an event not to be missed. To mark its 10th anniversary, an international association of the world's finest wine-producing families from Europe and America joined forces with the Four Seasons Hotel Group to host a series of historic gala wine dinners. Known as the Primum Familiae Vinae, they began their tour in the Bangkok Region Hotel before moving on to Singapore, Tokyo and Shanghai. The grand event kicked off at the Regent with a champagne reception, followed by a gourmet's delight in the ballroom. Endless courses of food, complemented by 11 great wines. Back to 1992, my father Robert and Miguel Torres, who were very, very, who are actually very close friends, uh, they were walking around in a vineyard located not too far from Bone in Burgundy, and the grandchildren were playing around in the vineyards. It was a beautiful day and they were, you know, chatting and discussing about different subjects. And they both realized that they were sharing the same concerns about many different aspects of their business. Uh, technical aspects, viticultural aspects, that same concern about transmission of the company to the next generation. So, after a while, the idea comes out, why don't we create an association which will regroup exclusively family producers? Uh, let's see what we can do, because we all have the same, same concerns. So let's see, and, and, and the idea was on the paper. They, as Miguel Torres and my father went, they, they knew many, many people in the wine business uh, they just contact most of their friends and they said, this is the idea, I mean, what do you think? And they all jumped into, boom, that association, and that was it. So the idea came out in the vineyards in Bone. Eleven families make up PFV. Each family showcased wine from its own vineyards. Obviously, in Asia, probably the Japanese market is still the most important, but we all see, and it's very obvious to see the potential of Asia. I mean, this is an area with sometimes double-digit uh, growth uh, rate. It's uh, a market which is still quite new for wine, so there's still a lot of education that needs to be done, which is what we're doing now. Uh, uh, Bangkok and Thailand uh, is certainly still not a very large market in terms of total uh, number of cases but it's a market that is fast growing and I think it's important to think of your future customers rather than just your existing ones. Well basically you know this is the uh, wine which is the, um, going with the food of course but uh, there is the rule and regulation which is you have to concern basically respect the food respect the wine you know so there is the balance and matching which is halfway and basically we've been through a lot of everything to matching food with wine or wine with food either way and um, it's so exciting for me to create this menu to go with this wine because the, uh, of course they're really important wine and then in each year and uh, also there is a certain category that you cannot serve with something like let's say the dessert uh, Basically, you're not serving chocolate with a dessert because the chocolate will kill the wine because it's too sweet. And then uh, black pepper, which is actually destroyed the wine as well. And then you cannot make something like too intense, which is too strong, overpowering. Like if you want to use some truffle oil and then you use canned truffle and then you want to make it more flavorful, you add truffle oil in it too strong and then they kill the wine. So you cannot taste any wine that going with the food. So basically, if you use the canned truffle, uh, you have to make it like not add so much uh, flavor into it. So make it really balancing and then uh, uh, the taste will go well with the wine. At each dinner, a collection case containing one bottle of each member's flagship wine was auctioned for a local charity. Fine wines and fine food, 